Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Romulans, Klingons and any other life form that's out there. So, while we've been waiting for the next mission, I've been trying to cross the neutral zone. Uh, apparently I can't because it will be an act of war, but that's not going to stop me from trying. Okay, definitely can't. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the other things that won't let me. We'll go off and do the mission, but that's... That's kind of a nice little, um... Ah, uh, yes. Alright. I understand. Can't enter the neutral zone. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's a nice little tidbit that they got in there. Um, so yeah, these are the next things. We're at level 10 currently. Uh, which is, again, a little bit higher than you normally would be if you're leveling, but you have to remember that I did do a few replays. Alright, now that's getting annoying. Um, so yeah, this will be the last mission of the TOS Federation uh, tutorial, and then we should be a temporal agent, and we'll go through and do all the temporal things. And there is the Federation outpost. Starbase 39. And here we go. Fighting the Klingons. All hands, this is Admiral Garrett aboard the USS Yorktown. I'm the commanding officer of this task force. Our long range sensor platforms have detected a Klingon battle fleet massing near the system. At the moment, they're attacking our subspace relay network in order to disrupt communications and long-range surveillance in the sector. Okay. We have the Klingons outnumbered at this time. Should they abandon reason and follow a standard attack doctrine, fire to disable their ships if possible. A strong show of force should send them back. Alrighty. Let's do it. Fire at will. Emergency power to the engines and attack pattern alpha. Always a good way to start. So we've got a ranger, a few pioneers, the Yorktown, Gemini, the Pegasus. Of course, we'll get to use those ones as we level up. They will be acceptable to us in the future. And we're taking the pounding. But those shields should be holding us and making things better. We get emergency power to shields. I mean, to weapons. Ah. The Klingon formation is breaking. All here we go, here we go, here we go. These guys can take a beating. Everyone stopped firing on the Klingon ship, which is interesting. Come on, guys. I have to do all the work myself. Alright, I guess I do.
There we go. Alright, we got one. We got two. Oh well, we're screwed. <clears throat> At least for now. I thought Klingons didn't take prisoners' core. We Klingons can be gracious in victory. Though, should you wish to die in battle with honor, I will gladly oblige you. I'm picking up a temporal anomaly from one of the Klingon ships. It's consistent with readings we've seen of previous Naku incursions. All right. Trying to interfere with the timeline again. Until we break the tractor beam, there's not much I can do, Daniels. Leave that to me. I'll modify the transporter and beam you over, past their shields. Once huh. on board, free the ship and neutralize the anomaly if you can. Hurry. We're literally running out of time. Must be Jim Hadar technology beaming through shields there. So we've got our away team with Mr. Garibaldi. Now I also gave him a ripped shirt. I don't know if I pointed that out last time. But he has a ripped shirt because, you know, hey, let's give some people some difference. This is the 24, uh, 23rd century after all. People will be getting into firefights a lot more. Alright, we're on the ground. And loot! Oh, we love loot. Mm. Alright. We sabotage charge there. Let's do this. So I ran into a little bit of bug. My crew is not following me. That's because they don't know how. Come on guys. Get through. Everyone. That's right. Everyone there. Alright. Cool. Now stick with me this time.
hier. Alright, we're gonna set a judge and... Huh. I need to do that again. Looks like a lockbox has... Gold? I haven't seen those things since Ferengi, or is it just normal? Yeah, it just seems normal. Might be the lens flare or something. Alright. Uh, no, don't need that. Cut the door. So that means Captain Kor is working with cool. so maybe that's why he finds out about the Sword of Kalos at some point in time. That would make sense. captain here and who is merely a visitor i've given you the means to victory i suggest you use them now noted mm. though it seems we have other concerns now i warned you call deal with this don't fail me well well i was hoping for kirk but i got you <laughs> so you're the Federation globflies who found their way onto my ship. A bold maneuver, to be sure. Bold or not, you remain insects. A minor, and in that way, we are alike, for we both are here to help ourselves. Today, I will take what I want in the Empire's name and use it to utterly dip. Effort, little fly, but it is over. <laughs> Glorious! Long shall I remember this day. You crazy Cleon. the other ships go and we'll get on with it. Well done. Thanks for the help. Nice work. I owe you one. This is Garrett. We're outmatched here. Disengage under best possible power. Make for heading 265 Mark 10. Best speed. Guess we're gonna find out how much of beating the ship can take. I 
Let's go for this raptor. One down. Two down. Yo, that's a lot of ships. Okay, uh, I retreat, I retreat! Yowzers, that's quite a beating. <laughs> oh my god. That was, yeah. Yeah. I need better gear. <laughs> Alright. Where are we? Let's see if we can kill some of these guys. Hey, I'm still alive. At least one Starfleet officer has the courage to die well. Tommy Dune, for me. I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna fight to the bitter end. Because all the other guys are away, basically. Give him hell Godspeed. I'm not done yet. I refuse to die. Come on, ah. So I had him. That's not how it went down. I'm afraid you're <laughs> dead. Your ship was destroyed in combat while protecting the retreat of Admiral Garrett's forces. Your sacrifice allowed Garrett to warn Starfleet about Klingon poking but the ship was lost with all hands. <coughs> that means that's what's in the history books. I brought you and the crew members I could save to the early 25th century. You're being recruited as a temporal agent. Since you're dead, we're giving you a new identity. We have a speed training and reacclimation process that will help you to fit in. <laughs> I know this is a bit unusual. But you'll get used to it. Believe me when I say it's better than the alternative. Yeah, like the Define screw? Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Right. So, I guess we're now in the 25th century. Which is really cool. And we still have the toss effect. That's awesome. And we got our veterancy. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. A busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical hollow novels, too. My hairy mud costume <laughs> took first prize last year. <laughs> uh, oh, that being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you might want to update your uniform beforehand. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Alright, so we also have duty officers unlocked. We got those rewards. And we still have an overflow. Hmm. Alright, so we'll what's the next mission? Okay, so we'll just do this one and then we'll call it quits. Alright, we have to visit the tailor. I won't actually alter anything because that would take time and I don't want to do that. Okay. Thank you. Now we have to go and speak to the temporal agent. Understood. Aha. Okay, so we are now a Delta recruit and... Huh. Of course, because I have no space, we can't see things. Interesting. Alright. So we'll talk to the Admiral. Uh, I've, been. I've been expecting you. I've recommended you for a command position on board a ship of the line. There are several fine ships available for an officer of your caliber. Head to the shipyard to select your new ship. Then ret Alrighty, so we'll do that. I don't know which ship we'll get yet, but um We've got a few. So we've got the escort, the cruiser, the science, but we also have these other ones. And we're gonna go with the temporal science one. Because we're going to keep with these temporal themes. Uh, hmm. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. All right. So, look, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to sort some things out, and then we'll be back with the new ship and a new mission in the 25th century.